Wine Spectator is going to come after me again because I'm opening up a 2010 Chateauneuf du Pop. Okay, welcome back to Drinking It In. I am your host, Chris Cassara. We are here to help you know more and drink better. And uh, we're going back to France. Uh, we're drinking some more Grenache wine. And uh, this time we're going, we're going to open up a bottle from the Chateauneuf du Pop region um, in the Southern Rhone. And um, so we've, we had, um, we've done some work on Gigandas. Uh, we've done some, uh, some episodes on Grenache uh, based wines as well. Um, Gigandas, I referenced um, that, you know, it was sort of like a reasonably priced Chateauneuf de Pop uh, wine. So now we're gonna go uh, to the big boy Chateauneuf de Pop themselves. Now, this is a 2010 Chateau saint Combe, uh, Chateauneuf de Pop. Um, according to the Wine Spectator, I am not supposed to be drinking this. It is too early. These wines should just be held. Uh, but as you know, I don't really, um, I don't listen. I guess I don't really listen very well. Uh, you know, it's, I have a bunch of 2010 vintage wines in my cellar, so I like bringing them out, uh, even though it's a little early, just to see how they are, see how they're doing, check in, you know, just check in, say hi, and, uh, you know, see, see if they live up to the hype. And thus far, you know, 2010s from Brunello, Barolo, and, um, and Bordeaux, actually, recently on this channel, have all lived up to the hype. So I'm excited to try this one for with you guys, and, um, you know, we'll see what we get. So, um, again, Chateauneuf de Pop, the wines are generally, or they're made with the uh, Grenache, Syrah, Mouvedre combination. I don't know if this one gives us the actual... Um, percentages doesn't look like it but it is cultivated without chemicals from old vines and it shows a great combination between power and finesse I like it okay well let's see if they're correct they just might be so So bright dried cherries, doesn't even make sense, but trust me on that. So it's bright dried cherries. There is a touch of licorice. There's a cocoa note, cocoa, chocolate, whatever you want to call it. A little smidge of mint as well. This almost reminds me of like a Christmas fruit cake that nobody ever eats, but you smell it. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, this is nice. I think that it's definitely going to be powerful. Hopefully it has the finesse that they mentioned. Yeah, damn. Ah, this is good. This is, um, it's not as big as I would have thought. This is kind of light on my palate. 14.5% uh, alcohol. Uh, it doesn't, it actually feels like it could be a little lighter. Um, so definitely, uh, it, it, it's mouth coating. Um, there's plenty of acid. Long finish. Uh, the cherries just stick with you. Eat those those spices, right? The Christmas spices kind of develop, you know, nutmeg, cinnamon, uh, clove, those types of uh, spices. That mint that I smelled in the, you know, on the on the nose, not present on the palate, um, but there is there is like a little bit of a warmth, you know, down my, you know, that, that as I swallow the wine, it's kind of my my whole insides are warming up. So, you know, it is March. I don't know, maybe I should be, maybe we should be drinking this wine in, um, you know, October, end of October into November as it's getting colder because it warms up your insides. But you know what? 
I think there's not going to be a wrong time to, to uh, drink this guy at all. Nice. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pour myself another glass. So it won't be, uh, you know, you guys don't have to hang around for it. But also the other thing, I'll, I'll zoom in for this, but if you check out the, you know, the crest that's on the, the bottle, the Chateauneuf de Pop, love it. Shows up on the Jig and Dodds bottles too. It's just, uh, it makes you feel okay for spending a lot of money on this on these wines. But um, Chateau St. Home, whether they are doing Chateauneuf de Pop, I think they do Gigandas as well. They do uh, Cote de Rhone. Um, you know, any time you see the the uh, the label and this uh, motif, you can. I mean, their wines are awesome, awesome. So you know, definitely don't shy away. Seek these out, and um, I will see you next time for more wine and spirits. Until next time, cheers, folks. Hey guys, it's Chris. Uh, I wanted to thank you for watching the video. Uh, I wanted to encourage you to uh, like and subscribe, tell your friends, share it on any platform that you can. And, um, you know, hopefully I'll see you next time. You know, put that, put that bell on so that whenever I release a, a video, you get notified right away.